Hey, Becky here. Welcome back to my channel. My channel. We got special guest Rylan. My channel. And we are going to do a pregnancy video today. Today I am 23 weeks pregnant. Uh, had my prenatal checkup with the nurse and everything is looking good. I had an ultrasound on Thursday. Today's Monday. Hi. And this baby's very stubborn and doesn't like its picture taken. So I have to go for my fifth ultrasound on Wednesday. But so far, everything looks normal in the ultrasounds. It's just, they can't get a picture of all the stuff. But so we are not finding out the gender of this baby. We didn't find out with any of them. Okay, it's Ryan's channel. We did not find out the gender with any of my kids. I have two girls and a boy. So we'll see if this, is right a, Say hi, if this makes it even or if we're going to outrun the boys or not. But we will not find out the gender the until boy. the baby is born. Come here. Like, uh, but we like, wanted to do a video there, of doing like gender there. prediction stuff yeah, online and I wanted to get the kids involved with this. So Before we go any further, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe down below. I am on Google. I just put gender guesses old wives tales. There's gender <laughs> prediction methods versus old wives tales. Gender prediction myths. How about... Uh, Comment down below what gender you want the baby. Yeah, so put your comments down below if you think boy or girl. So I'll give you a little bit of information right now. The baby's heart rate today was between 145. Comment down if you like this uh, show. So baby's heart rate was between 145 and 150. So I know they usually say like a higher heart rate means girl and a lower heart rate is a boy. This pregnancy has been extremely similar to my pregnancy with my son where my daughters were a little bit different and those two pregnancies were similar. So I'm leaning more towards oh. boy. What is your guess, Rylan? Boy or girl baby? I think a uh, boy because there would be two boys, two boys and uh, two girls. That's right. What does daddy think? Any feeling of what it could be boy or girl? It's going to be a perfectly gender neutral baby. No. Physically gender neutral. <laughs> I think it's going to be no. a boy. No, it's going to be, my guess is boy. So Sophie is thinking a boy and Maya I think is hoping for a girl. Maya? Maya? Oh, sorry. What do you think the baby's going to be, boy or girl? Maya's hoping for a girl. Okay, I'm going to Huggies.com. 17 old wise tales to predict baby's gender. High is girl, low is boy, so I don't know what I'm carrying. Like, I think you're carrying low. Because he sits like way down here. The baby. Sits way down here. The baby. Here's like sit. my pants are pulled up. Daddy, yeah. Sit. Baby sits over here. Hi, Leo. You boy or girl? <laughs> so I don't know. I think. It feel, it's still pretty high, I guess. Like, I'm only 23 weeks, so I won't drop for a bit, but pumpkin. baby is sitting like... A pumpkin! Right here. Pumpkin. Mommy. You guys can decide if you think that's high or low. <laughs> Do you have pregnancy acne? Okay. <laughs> Do you have pregnancy acne or other types of skin blemishes? One old wives tale claims girls will steal your beauty. <laughs> So I don't get a lot of acne to begin with. So I don't suffer with really bad acne, but it ha has been a little bit. Like I've gotten like a pimple here, one here, one over here. So it's a little bit worse than usual, but I am in my 30s now. So maybe it's just an age thing as well as pregnancy like hormones. I don't know. Uh, and a lot of acne like between my breasts has been worse than usual. If your skin is glowing and flawless, get ready for a boy. Am I glowing? It's not You're flawless. When you're pregnant. Glow stick. <gasps> Look, glow not stick. extra glowing. <laughs> no, glow I stick. am glowing. Glow Have you noticed a change in your body temperature? If you're feeling cold and icy, it's a boy. Hot and sweaty, it's a girl. Feeling cold and icy, it's a boy. Oh, and Leo just scratching I don't know. Yeah. It's also something go like this. Oh. My husband's pissing off the cat, and the cat's talking about all the kids. I'm not pissing off the cat. Kid's pissing off the cat. Girl, don't hold it. Wait, so I don't know. Cold. Hot. I've been pregnant for the summer, and now it's cold. I'm hot right now. It's hot as hell. <laughs> Typically, what is a baby's heart rate? An old wise tale claims the slower heart rates under 140 
means boy, while heart rate's over 140 means girl. So ours is about mm -hmm. 145, 150. So it's kind of like just on the cusp of over 140 being a girl, but it's like 145, 150. I think last time I went for an ultrasound, it was like 154. So just slightly tilted more towards girl. Any significant cravings? Not really. I don't get a lot of cravings, but I get, an not anti-cravings, but with this pregnancy, I like, in the beginning, I think I lost 10 pounds because I didn't want food at all. I didn't want anything. I didn't crave a single thing, especially like I didn't want coffee. I just wanted water and then like juice, nothing hot, no coffee, no tea, anything like that. I uh, it didn't make me sick. I just didn't want it. But if you're craving sweet things, you're having a girl. If you're craving salty or sour, it's a boy. That's the sun. Yes. So I've been craving more salty. I've been wanting like salt and vinegar chips. Chips and dip. Uh, anything with vinegar on it, I want vinegar. So I don't know if vinegar considered sour. More sour than sweet. But I don't know. I knew I was pregnant I'm and like when what? we went and got like blizzards from Dairy Queen and I just got like a small and I took like two bites and I was done. I was like not, I didn't want it and normally like I'm all about the sweet tooth all the time. Both ancient Chinese and Mayan cultures used a calendar to predict baby's gender. If both, ah! if both your age and the year you conceived are even, it's a girl. Same if they're both odd. If one is even and one is odd, you're having a boy. Which one so, is which? if both your age and the year you conceived are even or odd, it's a girl. So, I am 33 and I conceived in 2021. So, so it's two odds, which means a girl. Okay, so my husband got a thing. Carrying high or low? What do you think? I say low. I say the baby, like, the baby's sitting low. My stomach hasn't dropped yet, but it's sitting low ish. Which is what low is. So, low is a boy. Acne or other skin blemishes? My skin has been no. worse. So that's a girl. Body temperature. Am I cold or hot? Um, I haven't been cold and icy. So we'll go with warm, which is a girl. Baby's heart rate. So it is over 140. So that is another sign for girl. Uh, salty cravings. So boy. Both my year and my, my age and the year I conceived are both even or odd. So that is a girl. Have you dealt with morning sickness? So throwing up? No. Nauseous? Yes. So I'm going to say no. Boy, I guess. An old wives tale states that sickness means it's a girl. If not, then you're lucky. I was really sick with both my girls, like throwing up. With Rylan, with my one son, I was very nauseous. But never, like, I may have thrown up, like, once through the whole pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And it's been the same with this one. There's a fun gender predictor called the ring test. To predict the gender of your baby, tie your wedding ring to a string and hang it over your pregnant belly. If it swings in a circle, you're having a boy. If it swings back and forth, it's a girl. So I got a chain here. I got my wedding ring on. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to wear it. But I'll lie down on the couch and we'll do this one after with the kids. Mommy's ring doesn't want to come off. Apparently I have a fat knuckle. We all know that sympathy pains are a real thing. If your husband also put on some baby weight, an old wives tale says it's a girl. Have you gained any weight? No, I've actually lost weight. So a boy, I guess. Have you experienced swollen legs or ankles? No. So a girl. Not that I've noticed. Have I experienced lots of clumsiness during your pregnancy? If you've been graceful, expect a girl. Clumsiness is a boy. Graceful is a girl, so put a mark for a girl. Are you having crazy pregnancy dreams? Rumor has it that your baby's gender is opposite of the gender you dream about. I haven't been dreaming about any gender, so... Neutral for that one? That one doesn't really help. Frequent headaches during your pregnancy? Could be having a boy. Have I had frequent headaches during your pregnancy? Not any more than usual, so one for a girl. What color is your pee? If your urine is bright yellow, it's a boy. If your urine is light or dull it color, it's a girl. Are you keeping track of your urine colors? When I wake up in the morning, it's bright yellow. When the rest of the day when I'm drinking water, it's light like everybody else in the world. 
So girl. Uh, do it based on the, the morning one. Then a boy. How is your mood? If you're happy or mellow, expect a boy. If you're moody, it's a girl. I found, like, with my other pregnancies, my mood wasn't, like, good or bad necessarily, but I was more emotional with my boy pregnancy. I don't know. Have I been extra moody? Um, I don't... <laughs> he's not gonna say. No, I... Honestly, yeah, you haven't been any moodier than normal. Okay, so one for boy. Dad, did you put a now we are going to do the ring test and see if it goes in a circle like this. Uh, if it swings in a circle, it's a boy. If it swings back and forth, it's a girl. Okay. So I'm gonna lie down for this one. Okay, my son Rylan is gonna swing this over my belly. Hey. So you gotta you gotta pick this up and hold it over my belly, but don't even touch it. Don't touch the rings. We need to be able to see it on the video, so Daddy's gonna make so, sure we can see it on the video. What? Don't do that, please. Okay, we can't see it on the video. Okay, what's it doing? Doing a circle. Doing a circle. So circle's a boy, I think. Okay, Maya, you try it from up there. Let's see if Maya gets a different result. Let's see. Swinging back to back Now it's going back and forth. Uh oh. Bella, oh come. Baby's jumping. Okay, I don't know. That's more back and forth. Let's see what Sophie's sit. does. Stand right over my head so we can see it on this. Maybe okay. if I show sit. my belly. <laughs> Big white belly. Did you guys see that? Don't oh. do that, please. I'm just but showing them. Do like back, forth, back. Modern no, technology doesn't no, work. No, it's, it's going jumping. around in circles. Baby's jumping. Hey, Dad. I mean, the baby's jumping. It's made. That's circles circle. now. Yeah. It was back and forth at first. Yeah, but Sophie was circles when you, when Ryan, Ryan did it with circles, Maya did it was back, back and, and forth. Because, see, she's thinking, girl. Hey, Daddy, you want to do it? <laughs> what do I do? Do I just hold it above I the belly? Above you just dangle it above. Mommy, are you thinking a boy? Or no? I'm leaning towards boy. Just because of the way this pregnancy is. Kind of like back and forth. No. Now it's back and forth. <laughs> Again? <coughs> Which one is it? A boy? That's why you're only no. supposed to do it once. Not more than once. Oh, well, now he's waiting on me with the pig. I'm trying not to like make it shake or anything. Oh, well, the baby's jumping. Too shaky. I don't know. Mommy, the baby's trying to make it turn. Oh, it's just going back and forth. That was circular, I don't know. <coughs> so what was the first now one? Now mine's just spinning. So the first one was circles. So I guess we'll oh. go with the first one. You comment down below what you think. Maybe I have to do it. <gasps> circles, girl? No. Yay! Yeah. Circles, When girl. I do it, it's back and forth. <coughs> right. So. So that's three. Back and forth. And two. So you comment down below what you think. Mommy, we should do left and right. Can you pause it for you? But apparently this is a Chinese gender, Chinese gender predictor. Um, place one finger on the age you were when you conceived and another finger on the month of conception. And then when your fingers meet in the middle, you've got your answer. So I was 33. And I conceived in... April. So that says a girl. So we got one for girl, daddy. I think most of these predictors are turning more towards girl than boy. Okay, so it doesn't count now because I already read it, but here's the key test. Now, this is a test for dads to lead, not moms. Dad will put a key down on a surface. He'll then ask the mom to pick up the key without giving her any information as to why. If she picks up the key by the narrow end, it's a girl. If she picks up the key by the rounded top, it's a boy. So if you guys are expecting, if you guys are expecting a baby and you don't know the gender, you can test that one out. Or if you do know the gender, see if it works. That one's for the dads. Okay, here's a few other ones. If it's a boy, you aren't sleeping very much. Uh, this could also have something to do with growing another human inside of you. It, back ache, stomach ache. Or stomach ache, but it's an old wives' tale that if you're not sleeping well, it's a boy. I feel like I'm sleeping a normal amount for like this time in the pregnancy and stuff. I'm getting up to pee a lot, but I was doing that even before I was pregnant. One of them is it's a boy if you pick up a mug by its handle. Almost like that. Do I normally pick up a mug by its handle? 
I don't know. I think so. It's not something I really. It depends because sometimes it's hot, so I gotta like feel the cup, and then I'm like, is the handle? I think I go for the handle more. Usually. So the table. So a handle is a boy. Yeah, boy. Hair on your legs is growing normally, as opposed to more than normal. It's a girl. Don't dive bomb on the couch, but. Hairier on my legs. Mm. Your legs aren't usually very hairy. No, I feel like I. But I shaved several days ago, and it's not even that long. I feel like it's growing less than normal. Yeah. So, hair is growing normally as a girl. Less than more than normal would be a boy. Oh, so, normal. girl. I'm if smart. your nose widens, you're in for a baby boy. <laughs> no, it looks very normal to me. No, that doesn't. Well, widen. If it gets wider, I'm having a boy. Well, not that I noticed. Yeah, not noticeably wider, anyways. The girl. You can eat bread, but hate eating the end bit of loaf of bread if it's a girl. If you hated it before that. It says it has nothing to do with previous preferences, obviously. <laughs> if it's a boy, your mom's hair color is naturally gray. This one's confusing. If it's a boy, your mom's hair color is naturally gray. We assume they mean your mother's hair has turned gray in later life, not that she was born with gray hair. My mom's hair has naturally started to turn gray. Yes. But what about my hair? I'm the mom. I'm the one going through the pregnancy changes. But mine also has gray or silver or whatever in it. So, boy for gray hair, I guess. It's a girl if your other half's avoiding you due to your mood swings. We talked about that one. It's a boy if you like eating the end of a loaf of bread. I don't know. I'm not actually eating a lot of You're bread. End of loaf bread yeah. kind of person. It's a girl if you haven't suffered morning sickness, but all the other ones say it no. is a girl if you're no. suffering from morning sickness. No. It's a boy if your wedding ring suspended on thread over your bump moves from side to side. So depending on what <laughs> what website you go with depends on what the predictor is. You sleep with your pillow facing south while in bed. It's a girl. Does my pillow face south? I don't even know. <laughs> I've always slept with my pillow, like, here's the head of the bed in our bedroom. Yeah. And then here's the foot of the bed. My, <laughs> my pillow is at the head of the bed facing that way, whatever that is. Yeah, right. Probably <laughs> more way, north. Right? Yeah. The bed goes... That way. Which is like so your west, east. We're Aren't we facing east? 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 We're facing east. Want to hear a funny story about yeast? Look at your dog drum. If consumed, dry. Ask me how I know this. Your pillow is facing. Should be facing east. Well, it only accounts for north or west. Or north or south, so. Your hair gets reddish highlights in it. My hair is purple, so... It's a girl if your face has become rounder and you have rosy cheeks. We have found eating donuts can also have this effect. Uh. Is my face rounder? I don't think it's any, like... Wait, show me. I don't feel like your face is any rounder than normal. Any rounder or skinnier? No. No. Uh -huh. It's a boy if you're in labor during the full moon. So I'll let you know. It's a boy if your feet are always cold. In uh, between November and February, this could also be a sign of winter. The floor of the whole house I like the comments fire. on this. It's a boy if you can't eat enough items. meat or cheese. Well, okay, those pop up in the I don't think I'm craving meat or cheese, just salty things. It's a girl if when you're asked to show someone your hands, you show them palm up. People may trick you by asking to see your palms. Let's see your hands. <laughs> Palm up. That was my uh, that was my instinct though too. But I don't know. It's a girl if you're always drinking orange juice. You can't get enough of it. That's yes. Yes, I've been drinking a lot more juice lately and orange cranberry juice. juice. Specifically. Yes, but the orange juice I bought recently is not good. I need to get the other stuff. No, I know, but you've been buying orange juice I know. since you've been. And cranberry it. juice. I'm just saying cranberry so and orange juice. orange juice. So fine. it's a girl. Mixing your urine with drain cleaner will show the sex of the baby. 
The Drano test supposedly detects something in a pregnant woman's urine that will change the color of the Drano to show the sex of the baby. Bluish yellow means it's a boy and greenish brown means it's a girl. Same with baking soda. Women expecting a boy who add their urine to baking soda will find that it fizzes whilst those with a girl in the oven won't get a reaction. So you can try those next time you go pee. Is that next time you go pee? Pee in with some baking soda and see. Happen. If it's a boy, it will fizz. If it's a girl, no. you'll have no reaction. No. Did you take a pregnancy a test? <laughs> it came back inconclusive. There's supposed to be one where, like, there's two chairs, and, like, the husband will put, like, a fork under one and a spoon or a knife under the other one. And then I walk in, and I don't know which is which, and then it depends, like, if I sit on the fork or the spoon, what that means. Okay, so I found this um, on Baby Center. And this lady is Latin, apparently, and this is what her pregnant friends keep telling her, or have told her before. A family member or friend places in two different chairs, so you take two different chairs and cover them like with a pillow, or you can tape it underneath, I guess. So a spoon or a fork. A spoon on one, a fork on the other. Remember without you seeing. Spoon is equal a girl, a fork equals a boy. Okay, Maya, go get a spoon and a fork. I'll, I'll uh, close my eyes. Okay, 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 come here, come here. Come here. Okay, show them the spoon and the fork. It's a big spoon. Okay, so daddy's gonna clear off this chair. And you guys are gonna hide them underneath the chairs. I'm gonna close my eyes so I don't see it. Cover my ears, la 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 la. And wait, wait, wait. I'll sit on it. Okay, so they've covered the chairs apparently. Can I? They put something underneath of it instead of securing it. You want us to? Like, okay. No, it's fine. So, let's see. It's like musical chairs. Which one do I want? Which one do I sit on, Maya? Both of them? This is the one. The one in front of you. This one. What do you think it is? A spoon. Oh, I sat on the fork. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh. Why do you the fork. Fork? So the fork Why are you doing a boy, is a boy. Let's try again. You're a boy. You can have the fork. Yeah. Fork time. Fork time. Oh, no, Maya. Okay. We're going to get Daddy always to tally up our score. I guess I should have done like an even, like, we're going to do 20 of these. But okay, so that one was the tiebreaker. Nice. <laughs> It's 11 boy, 10 girl. Wow. <laughs> it's so close. There's no like obvious lead. Like 19 girl or well, something. Well, that's what I was like, you need, at one point I'm like, you need to do at least one more. Because like, we, <laughs> we were tied like all the way up until. It's twins. It was tied when you were at like six, no, seven. Oh. When you guys, when you got to yeah. seven, it was tied. And then it just, and then it just kept going boy, girl, boy, girl from there on. <laughs> so. It just goes to show you, you have no way of knowing <laughs> what it is at all. But I feel this pregnant, like every pregnancy is different. My mom had me and my brother, and they were so similar that they're, and like she didn't have ultrasounds and stuff. Well, she might have had an ultrasound, but they never like found out the gender or anything. But they were so similar that after she, he was born, she was like, I had to check his diaper because I thought for sure it was another girl. She's like, Our. Her two pregnancies were identical, and your mom too thought you yeah, were a girl. Like she was, was so convinced, different. yeah, because it was so different. Two boys before. But I had my first three kids three years and eight months apart between the oldest and the youngest. They were they're all twenty two so months apart. My two girls, like I said, were very similar pregnancies, and then my boy was very different. And this one feels more like the pregnancy I had with my boy. Um, I'm not as emotional this time around as I was with Rylan. Like crying and stuff. And, you were more emotional around. I do remember that. Um, but like the feeling of the pregnancy feels pretty similar. So, yeah. What do you think? Comment down below. Boy or girl? Due date is January twenty fourth, twenty twenty two, and I got pregnant in April of twenty one. So, I was thirty three when I conceived, and I'll be thirty four when the baby is born. Assuming baby oh, doesn't come like too much early. But. Show everyone the cat. And start. 
I'm Stardew Valley. My kitty is here. What's the kitty's name? Leo. You have to name That's him. our cat's name. You have to name him. Yeah, comment down below what you think, boy or girl. And we'll see you next time. Like Ciao. Subscribe. Wait. My kitty is... Oh, he looks like Leo. Lying down. Hold on. Oh, hold on.